The Massachusetts Department of Transportation hosted a public forum regarding the 495-95 interchange at Hopkinton Town Hall. So our project purpose is to improve the safety and operational efficiency at the system interchange of these two nationally and regionally significant interstate highways. That's driving, that drives our, our selected preferred alternative, that drives everything that we're designing forward. So um, at our last meeting, we showed three alternatives that were under consideration that were meeting, that were determined to meet our purpose and need. There were three alternatives for the project, but the one that was ultimately decided on was concept C2. Eliminates the <coughs> left-hand entrance. Um, from an environmental standpoint, it has no Article 97 impacts. That's um, land that was set aside by the legislature. We didn't touch on that earlier, but there's some um, property that surrounds the interchange that was set aside. Um, any impacts to those properties would require an act of the legislature and a transfer. Um, we're not impacting any of those with C2. Um, construction challenges, it had the lowest uh, duration. Of, I mean, they were all roughly around the same time frame, but this was a little bit lower. But it had the lowest complexity of construction because we were able to build more, or we are able to build more offline. Um, and then just skipping ahead, it's, it's, it's the lowest cost uh, by a pretty significant margin. MassDOT presented diagrams and videos of how the proposed changes would look. Right now is looking north on I-495 towards I-90. I-90 is right here, running east and west. 495, this is the old former toll plaza area. Right over here, here's that loop that we were talking about that takes you into the toll plaza from 495. And up here is Cumberland Farms. And this would be the proposed condition. So in place of that loop ramp, we have direct flyovers, forward flyovers, if you will. Um, so you don't loop around anymore. And in place of the tight ramp in this area, we have a softer curved ramp that, um, sir, I think you had a question about whether or not when you, when two ramps from the same highway come onto one direction, whether or not they would be on merging into one lane or not. You can see here that there, there's two lanes, one for eastbound to southbound, one for westbound to southbound. Arms is off in this area. There's the Sudbury River kind of weaving its way through the interchange area, and I-90 in the foreground here. And flipping to the proposed conditions, uh, you can see that we've squeezed 495 as far into the median as we possibly could to allow for that much more straightforward offline construction. Um, so this is your eastbound to northbound movement. Uh, that fourth lane that you were talking about going on 495 northbound, that is for this ramp right here. Wow. That's your northbound 495 to eastbound 90 movement. And then if you're traveling southbound on 495, you have a kind of a similar movement if you were going to go eastbound or westbound. Similar to today. Similar to today. And you can see right off there, we're exiting off to 495 northbound, crossing over CSX and, and uh, merging on over there. Now, right before we cross under 495, you're ah. great. <laughs> right, right as we go under 495, northbound and southbound, you'll see this exit lane right here is for your southbound access from, from I-90 westbound. It climbs up and over, and then all of your westbound traffic comes in on this bridge. It merges in, at this point, very similar to how it does today, except right now you don't have shoulders out there, you don't have full acceleration lanes.